What's good with you, gang? What's good with your earth signs? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Moon. This is Fergie. And this is a collective message for the earth signs. It may resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It's timeless, so it can resonate whenever you're coming across this. And if you like the content, please be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's, let's get you to it, yeah? Yeah! Alright, so whoever this message is for, um... I'm seeing this collective has walked away, okay? And if you haven't walked away, okay, look. There's someone in your life that you may either is a friend to you, okay? Or it's either your friendship is... Like, maybe this person got you out partying or doing, like, low vibrational stuff a lot. And it feels like the relationship is just not prospering, right? And the thing is... Whoever this is for, you're very, very wise, okay? You have a really old soul, and it's like you get, you're picking up that it's almost about time to detach from somebody, and some of you may have already walked away from someone, but it's so funny because <laughs> Spirit started playing the song, like, The Legend of the Phoenix, mm. all ends with beginnings. Right, one man's trash is another man's treasure. What keeps the planet spinning? The force from the beginning. So it's like, yeah, she's up all night to the sun. I'm up all night to get some. She's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. <laughs> right, so that's the vibe. It's almost like for some of you, like you've had this friend around and maybe you've really liked them for a while or something like that but the relationship it just don't got off the ground it doesn't get off the ground or maybe you can't get out of the friend zone with this person is kind of what it feels like and yeah it's it's like maybe you've spent a lot of nights up with this person like just hanging out with them <laughs> to get lucky right to get lucky but here's the thing it's almost like I don't know what's like so attractive about this person to you. Let's see if we can get an idea of what's all that about. The same for everyone. I guess there's a part of you that likes to, that likes a challenge, you know, like you like a challenge. And this, this friend or this like situationship, it challenges you, okay? You may also blaze up with this person. Um, but I'm also getting there's someone else like on the sidelines of this connection that could be a water sign that uh, maybe your friend is connected to or like yeah they're connected to and they they talk like on Facebook or something like I don't know why but whoever the, whoever I'm reading for like you may not like Facebook <laughs> like you de I despise Facebook is like that um, but yeah maybe you've seen some stuff on there you've seen your friend I don't know, was doing some kind of behavior on Facebook that you didn't like, and yeah, it's like they're always putting you in competition with people, okay? This friend is, got you, kind. Of, I kind of want to say like they've had you wrapped around your finger for a while, um, but yeah, it's like you like a challenge, but this person is really wearing you out with the challenge of getting them, right? Like maybe they date somebody else, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, Hello, I love you, I want to be with you. Like, it's like that. Um, but yeah, that's why it's like some of you just, you like like to be in the ring or competing with people. Maybe you're just always there for this person to fall back on. It's kind of giving this to someone that you have a strong friendship with, but I don't know, it's kind of giving it sort of surface level two. You may be sort of dealing with somebody that is slightly narcissistic. But here's the thing, like, you're really wise and it feels like you want to offer your soul to this person. Like, you want to offer your wisdom to them. You probably do. You probably... Oh, it's giving me that song. If I had one wish, you would be my boo. Promise to love you. Trust me, I trust you. If I had one wish, we would run away. Have us a baby. Making love all day. If I had one wish, you would be my wife. Mm -hmm, first time it's something like that right do you remember the one i was the one who said i loved you first it was about eight years ago don't act like you don't know you were sitting at home in your mother's living room yeah and it's like i don't know it's giving me this song kind of like that and 
just this this energy of someone that you're just always there for like you're their rock like they fall back on you or they come to you for advice because you give them such great advice like you really do you really open up your mind to this person you share your knowledge with this person you know you're kind you're gracious with this person you're you're freaking patient with this person but i'm seeing somebody almost like their shadow side almost like <laughs> borderline about to tip off tip over because this song up all night to the sun it's like shit at this point i know some of you could just be thinking about getting lucky right you thought for a long time you could have thought this person was you know your person but you you may feel like they're really afraid of their feelings towards you and and all of that but let's see i'm gonna see like what is this friend's intentions with my collective here right what's their intentions their intention is to like so see this person likes when you when they make you depressed <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like they like to put you in competition with others make you feel like like second best you know when the facts be you have so much value to offer anyone and i feel like you've overextended yourself and your kindness to this person but it's not to say that you're about to you know boot them out of your life but you were wise enough to realize that there's some kind of imbalance here in this connection uh, this person's intentions is to is to let you down right like 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 to keep letting you down and it's like they know how you feel about them but they continue to just play with you you know what i mean and um yeah, you might have just seen something on Facebook with this person that it just bugged you out. Maybe someone they were dating. Yeah, some some information, maybe a message on Facebook or something like that. Okay. Or some kind of comment from someone else. Could be what you see. So let's see what else, more about this person's intentions. Yeah, I'm telling you, tribe. Like, this person's intention is to just break your heart over and over and over again. Like, come on. That's so not cool. That's so not cool. And, you know, you may dream about this person, okay? To be honest, you you bring them a lot of clarity, right? It's like this is they come to you for relationship advice, for just advice about everything. Um, this is why I feel like this person has, like, um, sort of narcissistic tendencies. It's, it's kind of a little sadistic, the way they're treating you, because it's like they don't really care. It's like you feeding your pearls to swine. It's like you feeding your energy to like a vacuum. <laughs> like where does that go? They just store it all up in them and I don't know like where it goes. It's kind of weird. But yeah, you've been giving and giving to this connection because you've, you've hoped that you'd end up together with this person, right? But I feel like whoever you are, you're kind of, it crosses your mind to just walk away from this person sometimes. Like it really does. It's, Oh my gosh, it feels like this person just kind of treats you like a pawn when you're a king or a queen. You know what I'm saying? Like they treat you like a pawn in a chess game. You know? And uh, I'm hearing strike, you're out. Like what? I just heard that. Strike, you're out. So yeah, some of you could be walking away and it's crazy because if you do choose to walk away, I am seeing that you are going to get pretty lucky with somebody you're gonna get lucky like in the love department okay so yeah and you will notice if if um like if you were to be with somebody else this person like you will notice that your friend they always try to come between you and somebody else right it's like they want you to be single all the time they just want to keep it's like they got their hands on your heart and they're just like this <sighs> like squeezing it drawing blood out of it you know what i mean like you know there's this snapchat there's this snapchat emoji and it's like a person they grab their heart and it's like bleeding and they're like here take it it's like that's how you've been with this person just so willingly giving your heart to them giving your mind to them like they're getting all of the benefits of being in a relationship with you without actually you know committing to you in a way and you may be thinking that like their feelings for you are really deep and all of that and that's why they don't want to you know pursue something with you but let's see why like why why hasn't things got off the ground romantically between these two 
just getting this person is always moving like they're always doing something too or talking to somebody <laughs> So it's like you plan things for the relationship. Maybe you've planned, you've planned like travel with this person. Maybe some of you plan to, I don't know, like they could have told you that they want a family with you or they want to live with you or like buy a car or a house with you or something like that. Like what? No, th this is someone really impulsive. And the thing is, you're wise enough to know that. You're wise enough to see that. But it's your, it's your love for this person and it's your attachment to this person that keeps you around, you know. But really, they're kind of stepping on you like a doormat. So I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing a doormat and I can see on the doormat it says leave at will. So it, it's almost like you could leave at your own will whenever you want just dust your feet off and and go um because i feel like that's been crossing your mind you know because i feel like you sort of feel a little bit disrespected by this person or just unappreciated and undervalued but the thing is they could give you compliments and all this like this is someone who will come in and love bomb you and then pull back their energy go entertain somebody else um just keep you hanging on by a thread okay and I'm seeing that whoever this message is for, you have some kind of talent. There's something that you're really, really good at as well. Right? Some of you could be very well known on Instagram. But yeah, it's like that even if you wanted a break from this person, for some of you, like this could be someone who's calling you all the time. Or, you know, and you may not, it may not bother you, to be honest, but. It's like if you try to get a break from them, it's like they become really impulsive and, you know, like I just feel this person has hurt you more than a few times. I don't want to say betrayed because they feel like transparent with you, you know, but it's just like the constant them, dis like not acknowledging how you feel towards them, you know, the feelings, the romantic um, intentions that you have with them are not being reciprocated on their end so you know you're kind of being called to your higher self is telling you like maybe it's maybe it's a good relationship to ghost maybe it's a good relationship to walk away from you know you don't have to you can set boundaries but I feel like with this person setting boundaries it's just not gonna it's not gonna like work out for you you know it's like you either walk away you leave with your willpower or you or you stay and let this person continue to take you through the same cycle over and over again <laughs> you know what i mean and like you want to get lucky with them like that's what i feel like you want them you know but i feel like the universe has someone better for you so let's see what that's about they do look at that could be a water sign that the universe has for you that like a commitment a higher commitment coming in for some of you like exactly what you want you know it may be something and it may be something that develops over time like you know maybe over about a two-year time period but it just feels like that's how you thrive like you really thrive in deep friendships with people and you could be demisexual right like you you form a connection with people when you connect with them emotionally but something tells me Whoever this, this friend is of yours, they they just do not value what you're bringing to the table. They don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know it. And you know you deserve better. Um, you know, you could have had other options come through and then this person sabotages your other options. Like every time. Right? Or, or puts negative seeds in your mind and makes you confused about your other options. When they have no intention of committing to you. Like, make that shit make sense. Make that shit make sense. So the universe has somebody else, like a water sign that wants a committed relationship. That is trying to come in for you. There's someone that is a wish fulfillment for you. Okay? And I can feel that if you were to get in the relationship and this friend of yours found out, like, they'd start pulling on your energy. Start sucking energy from you. Start, like, calling you. Um, 
Oh, it's giving this person very narcissistic. I don't really like it, this energy, but yeah. You're one, you are one amazing person. Okay, like, yeah, you, you just give so much to this person. That's really what I'm seeing here. And I feel like your guides are bringing this up today in this message because whoever it's for, this is about your energy, right? It's really about your energy and you have some kind of talent um, as well that could attract this soulmate in or maybe a talent that you're being called to sort of engage in right now um, or pursue. I'm seeing somebody playing um, electric guitar. So you may play guitar or piano. <laughs> That's crazy. Like this person could get angry that you're talented on top of it. So this is what I mean. This person really does. Like they, they've, they try to sabotage you in a lot of ways unconsciously because I think deep down they like to control people, situations. You know, I don't feel like this person is very consciously aware of what they're doing okay they could expect this like princess treatment you know or they act like a princess like an angry princess even if they're a boy i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry but i'm just reading the cards you know that's what i'm seeing so yeah we're gonna have to get some tea on this one but yeah this is about your energy okay your energy is very valuable and this is what your guys want to remind you of today okay you've also got you also received some kind of dream about this person. I don't know what happened in the dream, um, but that dream was your guides bringing you some kind of justice and trying to help you balance things out in this relationship, okay? So that, that is a confirmation for someone. So yeah, if you just reflect on it, you'll realize that like whoever this friend is, they're always dragging you into party party environments. Um, you know, stealing, thieving off your emotional energy, right? Robbing you of your energy. That's what they're doing, right? Robbing you of your physical vitality every time they're taking you out. You know, come this place, come that place, come this place. It's like you're this person's little. I hate to say it, but they've had you feel in a lot of different emotions. Look at this. This is you, all over heartbreak. All over the amount of times this person has broken your heart, right? It's like they've broken it a hundred times. <laughs> right? It's like you feel all these different emotions when you even see this person, when, you, when you're around them. And I can, even the angels are saying, like, this is, this is actually someone's warning because they've spoken to you. Your, your angels, your higher self has already shown you in a dream. Like, to walk away from this person that they don't value you, right? And if you reflect on it, you'll realize that they're always unbothered, right? They don't really care what you do, and it's all about them, 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 okay? It's all about them, 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 and you know, they're all, they could always be fishing for compliments from you, right? Expecting you to treat them like, like you would a lover without giving you that same energy in return and if they do give you that same energy in return it's usually because they want something from you whether that's your company your energy right you to be a wingman for them or something like that okay this is really specific but yeah you know what i'm saying but at the same time they cock block you right i'm dead serious like this is what's going on this is what's going on and on top of that you got this talent like you have this star quality about you you stand out Okay, maybe some of you are being called to move in silence when it comes to a talent that you have. I feel like some of you are about to end up walking away from this person. And it's going to leave them very sad and upset and hurt. Okay, they may even end up crying over it. Um, but it's almost like you've got to... You've got to like silently slip away from this person's energy, you know? Explaining yourself wouldn't help. Um, I'm just getting whoever they are, they're very, it's weird because they're possessive over you. You know what I mean? Like they're obsessive over you, but maybe you have been with this person like intimately a couple of times. 
but they still, you know what I mean? Like they still don't give you the commitment that you deserve. And this is why someone's guides are coming through heavy. They're saying, you know, it's time for you to call your energy back and protect your energy and stop giving it to this person. If they don't want to be a good friend, let alone, you know, reciprocate your energy, then what are they doing? Because for real, you could be one of the 144,000, right? Like a star, you know what I'm saying? You could be talented in some way where this person is actually jealous of you. You've got codes, you know? And you'd be sharing your valuable codes, you're sh sharing your valuable energy with this person that just, they don't appreciate it. But yeah, you definitely have allies in the spirit. All right, maybe you know um, some talented people as well. It's interesting. Yeah, look at this. You've got allies in the spirit, okay, that, that are kind of encouraging you, giving you a little bit of boost to sort of, because um, they understand like you have many mixed emotions when it comes to this person, this friend of yours, you know, because they've really like, it's like they've dragged you. Um, but yeah, this is it. Like you have this whole side of you that this person suppresses as well. You know, like you've got this light inside of you, this talent okay, that, that you stand out for. And when you do that talent or you focus on yourself, you'll notice that this person gets really irritated, right? And it kind of feels like they're like a monitoring spirit in your life. And they'll come in and rob you of your joy or rob you of your inspiration, rob you of your emotions, right? Say you're sitting down to do something for yourself, whatever your talent is, and then this person's calling you, calling you, calling you, texting you, texting you, texting you. Right? And then you answer and then you get sucked into their world and their drama. Like that's what it feels like this person is just full of drama. Their their ego gets hurt all the time. Like you've seen this person go through so many things. That's what it feels like. You've seen this person go through so much shit and you've seen them force their way into people's lives. You've seen them force their way to get things. You've seen it. They use force to get what they want. Right? With you, with other people. Okay, so yeah, so I hope that that's like clear for whoever this is for, because I feel like I just want to look at this lucky lucky. You know, like maybe some of you be driving this person around and like they really affect your finances as well. Now, this is too much. Like this is definitely a narcissist. Like this person affects your finances. Maybe they take you out to like casinos or something like that. Or they like play with your money, like gamble your money or something. Like, come on. Even if there's someone you're in a relationship with. Like, this is just not... This is not fair, the energy I'm picking up on. It's very unbalanced and... It's crazy because this person could get angry at you and then it suppresses your anger. So you, you're not... A, like, like, you're gaslit out of your emotions. You know what I mean? Like, consistently in this relationship and... I guess it's time for you to recognize that. Um, not that you haven't already, you know. You're just so kind. Like, I feel like you're so kind and so sweet. And, you know, it may be hard to detach from this person. But it, when, you, when you finally realize, or when you do realize that, it's almost like, you know, like when you wake up and realize you, you wasn't loving a, a person. You were loving a narcissist. So, actually... You were actually in love with a mask and a facade. It's like you never really knew this person truly. You never really know them truly. Like They'll just make you believe that, right? Tell you certain things to make you believe that you know them the, the best or the most well. And, you know, while they're literally emptying your pockets or they're literally leaving you carless, right? This person could take your car, okay? Like... And then start drama, like, uh, man, I want to get my hammer for this one. <laughs> Shit, gang. You've been up, up many nights trying to get, get lucky with this person, and I think it's about time your, your, your guides have been trying to communicate with you and say, you know, it's better for you to walk away because this person hates on your happiness. If they were to see you with somebody else, they would literally be hating on it. You know what I mean? And this is why they're going to be crying over the loss of you. But it's kind of like what they get. They'll be looking you up, you know, trying to see what you're doing. 
But it's kind of what they get for the amount of cop books that they've, they've done, you know? And this is a narcissist. Because the moment you walk away, this person's going to start digging up dirt on you. You'll see what I mean, right? It's like anything you tell them, it'll be used against you. Anything you've told them, it'll be used against you. They'll run a smear campaign. And it feels like this is what they do with everyone else. And you are just like the person that they, you know, they run a smear campaign to you about other people. And, and that's them showing you their character, right? If someone can gossip about all these other people to you, just imagine what they're saying about you behind your back or when or what they'll say about you when they don't get what they want out of you. You'll notice that this person throws a hissy fit when they don't get what they want or they can't manipulate someone to do something or force them to do something, right? That's what you'll notice. And like, yeah, this person could start like digging up dirt on you and trying to, you know, ruin your reputation and stuff. All, all out of rejection because they have a massive rejection wound. I'm not saying this person is a full-blown narcissist, but it feels like they have a lot of unresolved trauma. It's kind of a little bit of a chaotic energy. They're like unpredictable. They're very reckless, you know, with their sexual energy. They're just reckless in general. They, they don't know how to honor people. They don't know how to cherish what is in their life. They don't even know how to value like what's in their life. Like especially people like you. And you're a beautiful soul. You know so yeah you're about to trigger this person's rejection wound if you guys do end up walking away and you'll see okay for some of you maybe this, like they try to act like you dress like you copy you Oh, so so this is the heads up. Say you walk away, they're going to find somebody that looks like you, that kind of acts like you, or dresses like you, a little bit like similar to you, that they will find someone like this and try to put it in your face, okay? And that is, that is literally scarcity tactics and cyberbullying. Look at that. Like, they'll try to put it online, right? Or try to bully you online. Like, I cannot. Like, this person is making me so mad. Oh my god, like, right, I'm gonna take a little breath. Jeez. And I feel like you be angry at this person for the shit that they put you through. You deserve so much better. And like I'm saying, the universe has somebody, a beautiful, sensitive, intuitive, sweet soul, just waiting to come in and commit to you. Right? So this is giving, you know, you may benefit from doing shadow work around. Um, you know, your rejection wounds, or this could just be simply people-pleasing, right? Sometimes people please out of out of fear of being rejected or abandoned as well. So if, if that happened to you as a child, there may be shadow work you could do there or inner child healing work you could do, look into. But yeah, you got a soulmate coming in, okay? I told you it's a water sign. It could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Someone very charming. Oh, stop. I'm telling you, whoever this is for, like, you'll see as soon as you detach from this person, if you've got the courage to do it with your willpower, this, new, this other person's coming in sooner than you think. Sooner than you think. Could be heavy Pisces energy. They could be a Pisces. Within eight days or two weeks. Like, it's really quick. Okay? Then they're a diamond, man. They're a diamond. They're priceless. They're the finest. And it's like you're going to understand what it feels like to have a diamond next to you that makes you feel um, faithful, that makes you feel creative, that makes you feel invincible, that embraces your multifacetedness, that embraces your talents and encourages you to be yourself and shine. You will be able to tell the difference between someone that actually loves you and then someone that says they love you but has a very skewed idea of what love is. You will understand the difference between someone that is trying to eclipse your energy out, camouflage you so no one else can see you, so that they can control you. You will see the difference between that and somebody else, someone real, okay? Someone that really wants to see you happy, someone that has real emotional intelligence and they really are passionate about you and tender with you. Right? You're about to see what, what enchantment really is. And this is karmic scales balancing out. And I feel like for this collective, even if you don't do it in the next week, like walk away from this person, 
if you do it this year, you will meet this soulmate, okay? Like this soulmate of yours will come in this year. And it's like karma that's due to you because you've given out so much love. Like seriously, but yeah, if you wait any, if you stay with this person and keep entertaining them and waiting for them for over a year, I mean, for the rest of this year, you may lose that window of opportunity. So, you know, remember, we accept the love we think we deserve. And when we accept love from people like this, we're telling the universe that, like, you want more of that. So by walking away with your willpower, you'll be doing yourself a favor and your future person a favor because you both deserve to love each other the right way. Let me know if this resonated. You know we love you so much. I will see you in the next one, Trap.